Perfect. Welcome to BOGO Day 4, Breathe Easy. We have three amazing BOGO oils today to talk about, and I'm just going to try to be brief, as excited as I am, and, you know, you could win a bet if you said, oh, she's probably going to say they're all three her favorite. Yeah, they're just, they're three more favorites, so good for everyone. Um, we love to have the oils that we use in our daily routines featured on BOGO because that means if you're a member, you can stock up on the things that you love. And if you're a new person, you get to try not one amazing oil for this deal is $28, but you also get two more amazing oils for free. And together, eucalyptus is normally $17 and lemon is normally $11, so this is exactly $28 in value for your spend. And um, what's amazing about these three oils, and if you have them on hand, I invite you to do this with me. I'm just opening up all the bottles at once right now, and I'm gonna try them all together. Uh, let's have a drop of spearmint. Drop of eucalyptus. Oops, got two. Lemon, got two. I am going to, here's what I'm gonna do. Normally I would just cut my hands and breathe this in, but as you've been able to tell, ooh, it smells amazing already. As you've been able to tell from my voice this week, I am having some allergy issues. I've got some sinus issues going on, so I'm actually gonna wipe this on my face as well as breathe it in. It goes really well on the forehead and temples. Might just want to close your eyes for a second because the spearmint um, has a pure fume to it. And so that can kind of get, especially the way that I'm putting it on right here around my eyes, it might just um, affect the eyes for a couple of minutes. It's already, it's already fine. But these are volatile aromatic compounds. And so what that means is that when you open up the bottle, you're releasing these powerful aromas into the atmosphere around you. And uh, you can experience them just right away. Oh, that's amazing. I love, I've never actually used these three oils together, just the three of them before. And so that's a really cool experience. I highly recommend that. You could use it the way that I just did. You could put the three of them in a diffuser together, or you could, um, Something else I was just thinking about is the steamy mug. I don't know if you've heard of that before. There are a couple of different recipes that circulate for steamy mug. It's not a tea that you're gonna wanna drink because we usually put some pretty uh, interesting combinations of oils in there that might be a little spicy to just swallow down, but they're great for opening you up. And so I was thinking these three, and you might even throw a little lavender in there for seasonal support, uh, would make a great steamy mug combination. So all you're gonna do is drop a drop or two of each oil in the bottom of a coffee or a tea mug, and then put your boiling hot water over top, and then you can put a towel over your head or just lean over the mug and breathe really deeply and just let the steam from the mug and those aromatic compounds from the essential oils rise up and just clean out your airways. Uh, so I'm thinking about doing that after we finish up this live. I wouldn't wanna do it on a live because it just really does open you up. You wanna have some tissues handy. <laughs> Uh, but it's highly supportive this time of year. Um, I'm thinking this would be a great combination for that. And so all three of these oils, I want to talk about them here as a group as we open up and then we will um, uh, differentiate a little bit amongst the three of them. But all three really do help you to breathe easier. They're gonna open up your airways, they're gonna support your lungs and uh, your sinuses as well. <clears throat> so perfect for this time of year and um, really a sweet combination, the three of them together. Then let's talk about spearmint first. We'll just break down and go through each one. Spearmint is the oil that you'd be purchasing in a 
addition to that respiratory support, this is also great for really anything that has to do with digestion. I'm just gonna um, reference one of my handy uh, resource books here while we go through. This has a little bit more specifics in it. For spearmint, yes, so anything digestion, and you can think um, even starting in the mouth, if you have issues with your breath or just really want to freshen your breath, uh, you can make a mouthwash just with water and a drop of spearmint, or you could add a drop to your toothpaste. Make sure in addition to brushing your teeth, you also want to brush your tongue, and that way it just freshens the breath. And then moving down, um, helps with indigestion, uh, colic for babies, nausea, and really any stomach issues for um, children and adults. And then it's also great for pain relief, just general pain relief. Um, it's a nervine, and so just throughout the body, whether that be muscle aches or soreness or just localized general pain. Um, and then it also mentions specifically heavy menstruation. So if you have a difficult cycle and you know normal pain relief doesn't quite cut it for you, you're looking for some extra support, spearmint would be a great choice for that. Um, Perfect. And then I'm also going to be referencing this book, my favorite essential emotions book um, for each spearmint is the oil of confident speech. So often when I do a live broadcast or teach a class, I will do a little spearmint shot before I begin. So it not is it's not only freshening your breath, but it helps you in addition to having notes just be clear about what you want to say. You know, sometimes it's a little nervous to stand up, makes you a little nervous to stand up in front of a group of people. And you've got a lot of knowledge, but you want to make sure you convey it in a way that's really helpful to your audience. And so when those butterflies come, you can still sort through the information in your head, process it internally, and then speak it out in the way that you really want to share it. And so Spearmint is great to just help organize all of that behind the scenes. And um, so that's another just really fun way to use it. And that's uh, the example of the emotional aspect of spearmint. You want to use that to just organize your thoughts, calm your nerves, your racing mind, and speak confidently and clearly. Then uh, let's talk a little bit about eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is in addition to its respiratory support um, and that's really the main way that I use eucalyptus. This is another one that I just have next to my bed all the time because I do have sinus issues pretty much all the time, but especially in the spring and the fall. And I love to use straight eucalyptus as an alternate to using breathe. Um, and I do what I showed you at the top. I just, I typically put it on my forehead and temples here on my sinuses, on my face, um, and then hit under here and even down down the neck a little bit and uh, that's a favorite choice for me for sinus support but then beyond that it's wonderful for mental fatigue let me flip to my uh, eucalyptus page for mental fatigue and again for general localized pain or specific menstrual support. And this is also good, it mentions when you start to transition from one season of life to the next, talking about um, going into perimenopause or menopause, uh, eucalyptus can be especially supportive for you there. Um, yeah, and then from the emotions book, eucalyptus is the oil of wellness. And so when you just want that overall feeling of wellness, I think we could all benefit from that these days. I wanted to just read a little bit from the book. Um, Eucalyptus addresses a deep emotional or spiritual issue of the need to be unwell or inundated. And we just 
we have these feelings right now, I know I'll speak for myself, of just being inundated with information, with change, with uncertainty. And so just reminding myself um, the positive properties associated with this essential oil, reminding myself that I am able to heal, I can be whole, I can be integrous, I can be well, I'm liberated, I'm responsible, and I feel encouraged. Um, Let's see, eucalyptus encourages individuals to take full responsibility for their own health. It bestows trust that one's needs and desires can be met even if they allow themselves to be well. Eucalyptus teaches how to claim wholeness and health. And so when you're on that natural path and you're using essential oils and other natural remedies to be more whole and be more well, it's nice to have that encouragement, that reinforcement coming from the emotional side of this essential oil that we can do this. Our bodies are amazing. They're divinely created and uh, with just some gentle support, they can bounce back and do what we need them to do. And then let's land on lemon. Oh my goodness. So again, amazing for respiratory support, opening you up and seasonal support. You may wanna pair this with your lavender and peppermint. That's what we do in our house. And it's just a wonderful combination for this time of year. No matter how your symptoms show up, in our family, Greg and Kate and I all present a little differently, but we all benefit from these three oils with uh, lemon being a standout amongst them. And so in addition to that respiratory support, lemon has several different things, not just one or two. I mean, there's probably a hundred, but I'm trying to keep it brief and so it's manageable information. So energy and focus are at the top for lemon. This is great for diffusing um, now that we're, most of us are doing homeschool or distance learning, uh, it's a great homework help oil for focus and staying on task, but that would be great to diffuse uh, if you've got little ones who just need some help staying focused at the table or on their, their little Chromebook or doing whatever assignment you need to help them get done. Um, lemon is highly detoxifying for the body, it just helps clean out our organs and help them do what they're supposed to be doing. It brings the body into state, into a state of alkalinity. Um, and as cleansing as it is for us internally, it's a great one that you want to put in your water during the day or tea. Um, that's fine, but just to get it in internally is so supportive, uh, then it's equally effective as a household cleaner. And if you look below this video, there are several posts about these oils today with different ways to use them and some recipes and ideas. There's a whole post just on cleaning with lemon. And I did a green cleaning class just, when was that? two weeks ago. Um, so if that's of interest, you can check out that whole class features uh, about a half dozen different oils that you can focus on um, in your green cleaning effort, lemon being one of them. So there's some fun recipes for you to try for green, green cleaning uh, just below this on uh, the Facebook page. Then um, there are lots of different recipes that you can sub in artificial lemon flavoring. <clears throat> with your lemon essential oil. So lots of baking recipes, a fun favorite one that we have, um, that we start to use this time of year is a fruit dip that you can make and you can make a healthy version of that. I'll try to find that recipe and post it for you. That's just a really good way to use your lemon. Um, let's see. Okay, and I just wanted to mention because lemon is just so effective. These are some of the properties of lemon that you'll be excited about. Antimicrobial, antiseptic, antiviral, astringent, and stimulant. So much goodness there. And then um, on the emotional side, lemon is the oil of focus. So we probably could have guessed that based on talking about energy and focus. But um, I'll just read this one line from the book. Lemon inspires joyful involvement in the present moment by infusing the soul with energy, confidence, and alertness. 
I love that. Um, when we get out of focus, when we lose our focus, we lose our way, we tend to either um, commiserate about things that have happened in the past that, you know, there's just no way to change those, or we get into future thinking and worry and anxiety and doubt and fear and all of that. And so one of the beauties of lemon essential oil is helping us stay present. In this moment, what can I do? I can take some deep breaths, I can calm, I can center, I can remind myself of what's true, I'm supported, I can find my way forward. So lemon is just a huge support for that. And I think just one more really fitting oil to pair with that deep breathing that we all need to be doing this uh, season of our lives. And so I hope you're as excited about these three oils as I am. If you're a current member, you want to put your spearmint in the cart. We can order up to three of these deals today. And then your other two oils, your eucalyptus and lemon, will automatically be added for you. If you're brand new, then make sure you reach out to the wellness advocate who's helping you. If you if you're not connected with someone or if I'm your person, I would love to hear from you and help get you started. You can just uh, enroll with a BOGO deal or if you've been thinking about it for a little while and you'd like to do an enrollment kit, then you can always add the day's BOGO to your enrollment order. But either way, we are here to help you. And uh, as I sign off, I'll just say keep calm keep breathing, BOGO on. I'll be excited to see you one more time tomorrow for our day five final deal. Thanks so much for being here. Take care and have a fabulous day.